Charlie, look, I said, don't worry. They're gonna be able to see me. Look, I'm not changing my sweater. They're gonna be able to see me. By the way, we need something for here and here. I'm not yelling at you, buddy. Sorry. So cute. You're so cute. I can't even pretend to be mad enough. What's up, everybody? So today's video, oh my God, I'm so excited. Pause, pause the video, pause the video. Okay, so I actually just finished the video and I just realized something. It is your last opportunity to donate to the mental health GoFundMe page that I set up. On there explains everything on why I set this up. I'm gonna be closing this next couple days and I'll be making a video about everything. The link is in the description down below. And 100% of the donations, obviously, will be going to mental health initiatives, so. Thank you guys, we're almost at our goal, but thank you. Okay, back to the video. I love spray paint, I love spray paint art. So I started thinking, what types of spray paints are out there that have these really cool effects? So I scoured the internet looking for the coolest ones out there. And I ended up on Amazon, which I probably should have started on Amazon, let's be real. So I went on Amazon, found this really, really cool spray paint. It was like this rainbow effect. So when you sprayed it, it looked like a bunch of different colors. I ordered it. Weeks go by. Weeks go by. I then get an email saying, we actually can't find a seller for this product, so we're giving you your money back. And I was like, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? This stuff is the coolest. This morning, I was out for breakfast and I was like, I'm gonna go for a walk to Canadian Tire. <laughs> and for the majority of you guys out there that don't know what Canadian Tire is, it's like a Home Depot and a Walmart had a baby. Yeah, pretty much that. Let's just see what types of spray paints they use. Lately, I've been using Montana Gold, which is this. Acrylic paint. Okay. So I went in there thinking maybe they sell this stuff. They don't. So as I was looking, I found this. This right here is Placidive Chameleon. I want you guys to think this is sponsored. This is just, I really want to put this to the test and see if it does what it says it does. Because on the can, it says it creates a color shift appearance. So this essentially is what I was looking for. Now the way this shift colors is actually in the light. It'll reflect light and it's got different pigment. I don't know. <laughs> I was going with the scientific like, well basically there's a pigment in there with a little bit of glitter. I don't know. I don't know what it does, but apparently it's supposed to look like, a, it's supposed to show different colors. For best results, they say you should use a Placidive base, which is what we got here. Now the item we're going to spray paint. I think it's like a cheese platter. But I bought it because I wanted to spray paint it. Now, it's not necessarily the best thing we should be using. The reason I say that is because it is a flat surface. Chameleon paint works really well when there's when there's like shape that the light can bounce off. So maybe something rounded or something with like dents in it. <laughs> like your mama's car. But the whole reason I bought this was for that. So, so we're using it. Too bad, too bad, we're using it. I, I wanted to try it. I mean, I always had teachers in school that would just randomly bust out this hard ass. I'm like, well, chill. You're the art teacher. You're here to like cash checks and go home. Let's be real. Step one is we're gonna sand this so the plastic dip sticks to it. And then I'll tell you step two when we're there. Okay, we'll cross that bridge when it comes. Sorry, sorry, whoa. That was the art teacher again. My, my bad, my bad. Let's do it. Okay, so once we put about like five or six base coats, we've got a completely plastic dip right now in black. We're ready to do a couple coats of the chameleon. Now at first you might not see it, but as the layers go on and on, you'll start to see the effect more and more. I mean, that's probably obvious. So it kind of has a green tinge to it right now. You can kind of see like right here. All right, time for layer two. As it dries, the color does seem to fade a bit, but from my angle, which I know you guys can't see on the camera, it's super green right here. Right over in this angle, it looks so teal blue. From the camera, it looks like dark gray. It's already working, oh my god. It's like super green from this angle. So there it is right there. Noticeably greener from uh, the black base coat. This is after a fresh paint. Look at it, it goes, it goes like really deep blue now. So it's blue from this angle, green from up here. Damn, that's cool. Damn, that's really cool. The one issue I will say I am having is getting a consistent spray look. You guys can see from this angle, it looks patchy. It doesn't matter how many times I spray those spots, they're always dark. Okay, so while that dries, I'm gonna also paint this, just cause this has a lot of curves to it. See like the bottom right there, how it reflects the light? That's really gonna do well with this effect. So looking over top, it's got this like greenish color. But when you tilt the angle down, 
it goes to a uh, blue. Like that looks like a totally different thing. So that right there is the chameleon paint. Now I want to show you guys why flat objects like this aren't the best to use for this paint. But, like nothing with bumps, any sort of curvature. It's just flat. So when you move the camera, you get these big extremes from colors. But if it had curves like this, this is the base of a candle. You can see all the different colors all at once. Now, the thing with plastic dip that I did learn, it is like a rubber coating, which means it could peel off in chunks. The plus here is if you don't like it, you could essentially just like peel the whole thing off in one go and get your color back. However, you have to do very thin coats. Otherwise, if you rush it, you get that sort of effect. This one wasn't that good. Boom! Okay, so there you guys have it. This is the final product of the leaf. It was like wood before, and now it is this chameleon. But this camera, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to pick up the color as well. Maybe it's the manual settings that I'm using, I don't know. This is a shot I took on my Canon G7X. You can see it's like camouflage green to this beautiful blue. But anyways, there you guys have it. That is the Plastic Dip Chameleon Spray Paint. I highly suggest you use a black base coat. I know this isn't necessarily new. Chameleon paint has been around for years. A lot of you guys might not know about it, and the fact that you can actually buy it in a spray paint can and have the cool effect at home is pretty neat. And don't forget, it is your last chance to donate to the mental health GoFundMe page I had set up. It means a lot, guys. I'm gonna be closing in the next couple days. Anyway, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna have a really sick picture of this on my Instagram, at Dan Archie. Check it out. All right, see you guys later.